Good morning, dear friends, and uh, greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And welcome to this brand new day. And what a joy it is for us that we can face our unknown future because Jesus Christ is alive. We don't know, but he knows. And so it is good for us to listen to the voice of God before we begin our day's activity. And we have uh, begun a three series of uh, messages concerning uh, the blessed people. In the book of Revelation chapter 1, paragraph 1 is from verse 1 to 3. And there are, uh, this paragraph uh, ends, ends with a threefold blessing. And so let me read this. Uh, uh, the revelation of Jesus Christ to which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his seventh uh, servant, John, who testifies to everything he saw. That is the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Blessed is the one who reads the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear it, and blessed are those who take it to heart what is written in it, because the time is near. So on Tuesday, we have considered the first blessed man. Blessed is the one, blessed are those who read uh, the, the word of God. As it says, blessed is the one who reads the words of this prophecy, it says. And that's what we considered on Tuesday. Now today I would like to consider the second, the man who hears the word is blessed, according to this passage. And uh, it indicates the need to pay attention to what is being read. So if there is a man standing in public and reading, there must be an audience or there must be a crowd to listen what is being read. And we must not forget um, that it is a great privilege to hear. Hear what? Not anything, but great privilege to hear, especially the word of God. It is very important. The word of God, in our own language, when we hear it, we are so happy. It is a precious privilege because men fought for this privilege. Men of, of the last centuries have given their life and blood in order to possess a copy of the Bible and uh, have it read so that people would be blessed. Men died to give this privilege to us. And we praise God and thank God and blessed are those who uh, have paid with their life for this privilege so that we today are enjoying it abundantly. You know, they did not own a copy of the Bible. And uh, it is. There was a time when ordinary people uh, did not have the freedom to have the scriptures in their own tongue. And uh, there was a time also when uh, people were not allowed to read the word of God. And these times were known as the dark ages of Christianity. And during that time, there was terrible persecutions against uh, anyone who, who, uh, who, who have a uh, who, who have acknowledged Christ as Lord and Savior and changed their life. And so I think 
you understand how it all began. And uh, my subject is not to enter into that kind of uh, discourse, but to just merely say that uh, dozens and dozens of men gave their life in order to preserve the word of God in written form so that we today have no shortage of Bible. We can buy any number of copies. We can buy uh, in English language. There are so many different uh, translations. We can buy any translation. And we, what a blessing it is. And, uh, and, and so, but at the same time, people living in those dark ages, they did not have that privilege. So they did not know what God's word has taught us. Uh, they did not know what it is to know Jesus as Lord and Savior. They did not know that life could be changed from being wicked to holy lives. But then because the people who paid with their life, they remain true to God. And so today we have Bible. And the professional clergy sought to keep it to themselves during those days. They did not allow the public, the ordinary people, to have a copy and read or understand. And if at all they read in the churches, it will be in their language, of, in the original language of Greek or Hebrew, which they did not, the ordinary people did not even understand. But today, what a privilege it is. Now, dear friends, do not neglect the reading of God's word. You have the freedom today to own any number of copies in any language. It is available in your language. Read, get the Bible and read and be blessed. The word of God also is living and the word of God is a light to our path and a lamp to our feet. The Bible says in the book of Psalms. What a privilege it is. The, by reading God's word, lives can be changed and be filled with the assurance of forgiveness of sin. The word of God will help you. And the word of God can bring you comfort. And that is why it is a privilege today for us to read the word of God. So blessed are the one who read and blessed, are the, blessed is the one who also listen God's word. So always make it a point. If you are a person who cannot read, listen to the reading of God's word. And it is important. And Thank God for it. I hope that you will start doing it. Listen God's word read in the churches and in public and at home. Thank you. And God bless you by the knowledge and the reading of God's word. Amen.